Hello everyone and thank you much for watching, Mr. P here. Let's talk about Wii Max 12-inch portable monitor. Let's begin. If you're planning to use Samsung DeX on the go, you will need a display to output the UI. Yes, if you are Galaxy Tab owners, you already can do that natively on a, on a tablet screen. But for everyone else who is using Galaxy phone compatible DeX or phone that is compatible to output DeX, you will need a, some sort of a display. In, without going into all the details, basically you have two options, lab dock or portable monitor. But what if you like to travel light and the lab dock is not ideal because of the size and weight? And some of the portable monitors are 15.6 inches in size or more and they are quite heavy. So this po probably could be an option for you. This is a Wii Max portable monitor which is weighs only 460 grams. It is so light that I bet you, you will forget that this monitor is even in your bag. In the box I received everything what I need to get this monitor up and running without no problems within minutes. And there was a monitor stand which, which is I'm not using because I don't really trust that stand. Another thing what I received in the box it was European style uh, wall plug which is confusing as I live in UK but I can't really complain about this because this is a free review unit free review unit sent to me by Wemax. I just hope that you will receive the correct wall plug once you will order this monitor. With UI ports we have two USB type C ports on the right plus mini HDMI and on the left we have OSD control button OSD back and exit button and the headphone jack for audio output only. One thing surprised me straight away while I, once I start using this monitor is that the both USB Type-C ports does exactly the same thing. I can use either of them for power, video data transfer and pass touch input. Sadly both of these USB Type-C ports do not support OTG. This monitor feels steady when you're holding in a hand. It's a metal sides and back and the plastic bezel in front and bezel width is comfortable. It's, it's wide enough to hold this monitor without covering the screen with the fingers. As I said, this monitor is 12 inches in size and this runs at resolution of 1366 by 768 at 60 Hz. And in my opinion, it is a perfect resolution for this display to output Samsung DeX. Well, you can change Samsung DeX resolution anyway, so you are stuck with it, but for my use case, it's a perfect resolution of Samsung DeX on this monitor. I was able to use this monitor with no problems at all to watch movies, play games, do things what I normally do on Samsung Deck. This monitor outputs only 200 nits of brightness and it is, this monitor won't be a friend when you're outside. In the, any kind of sunlight, I basically, I, was, I wasn't able to, I could not see anything what was happening on this display. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Because most of my apps and websites that I use are all set to have a dark mode. So even my, Wallpaper, as you can see, that dominated by a dark color, I could not see. For testing uh, outside, I mounted my phone free on the side, and then the result, this kind of portable setup, having my phone mounted to display and hold both of them on one hand, I quite enjoyed using that. I can see myself using that even more while I'm gonna go to, let's say, reply emails or, or play games or whatever. It's just that 200 brightness screen is, I get no picture, just an audio. Speaking about audio, this monitor, ha this monitor has two one watt speakers. And as I like to call them, they are, they are notification speakers. They're not ideal to enjoy music or watch videos. And if you're planning to use this monitor and basically w listen music while you're using this portable display to do work or whatever on Samsung DeX, um, well, you can, but my take would be on this just just do your ears in favor and, and use headphones or, or Bluetooth headphones or something else. As the speakers, they are, they are below average. Monitor is light and in that kind of size. And one of the reasons why it's light is there is no internal battery. So you will have to connect to some sort of the power to use it. As you can see right now, this monitor is powered by my phone. My Fold 3 is happily pushing the power to this monitor at 5 volt 0.8 amps. Due to the size of this display, and fortunately I have the brightness of only being 200 nits, my phone battery is not getting tanked. It's not like depleting the battery straight away. Uh, I can use this for hours and hours, like this kind of setup. With no problem, play a music, go to, let's say, open, I don't know, YouTube or something and watch it just on this monitor powered by the, by the uh, phone. But again, like I mentioned, due to a speaker's being basically a poop, um, I would use something like uh, like the Samsung earbuds just to enjoy, basically enjoy music or watch video. For another test, I decided to use my Tab S6 to mount this to a monitor uh, on the thicker side of this display. And end result, I quite enjoyed the look 
and, and feel of this portable setup. It felt like an open book with the two almost same size displays being either side. And I would, I would use it like this, let's say, you work in a warehouse or something and you can hold this and you, you use your S Pen to take notes on a, on, a tab, on a Galaxy tablet and this would output DeX. But the problem is, is not really usable because DeX is always showing this way because Samsung is not allowing us to rotate DeX UI. So you end up with something like this. It works with tablet mounted on the side, but it's not that usable when the DeX is basically displaying sideways. This display has a this amount, a 75 millimeter this mounting holes. And this is what I like the most about this monitor because I can mount it, let's say on the monitor stand, even if the end result might look silly. It's just the reason why I'm so excited about this monitor to have this amount is that one day this monitor will be used less and less as a portable display. And instead of just putting back in a box and just gathering dust somewhere in a shelf, I can mount it on a compatible VESA mount and use it for something else. I'm already thinking how I can utilize this monitor and mount it with a VESA mount and magnets to the fridge in the, in the kitchen and use this as, let's say, my home assistant information dashboard or mount this on the side of my home server and just display home server monitoring information on this display just because it has this amount. So for the end, do I recommend this to buy? And it's, it's tricky to answer depending on your use case. Let's say if you're planning to use this monitor only for Samsung DeX on the go, it is it is okay display. It As you can see, it does output. I, I'm not using, like I said, a whole, uh, the tablet stand that it came with because I don't really trust that cable stand. So I'm using Pepper Jobs uh, monitor stand, which is basically built like a tank. Uh, as you can see, I can I can move it around. I can put it here. Okay, I can do uh, things here, no problem. Move it here and fine, no problems at all. Maybe probably I need to somehow super glue something like a wireless charger here. Then it's I can charge my phone while it's charging the display. Mm, I'll think about this. For Dex user alone, it's it's mixed bag. It's, it does Dex, but like I said, outside um, experience, use Dex experience. Use Dex outside is not a great experience in the daylight. When it's dark like right now, it's, it's quite overcast and it's raining. Probably I would be able to use it. Um, but for if you're using this monitor for wider range of stuff, instead of just deck, something else, it's a great, great monitor. I will continue using this monitor. And like I said, I already have a lot of ideas how I can utilize this. First, I was planning to 3D print some sort of adapter and mount it in a, on the headrest in my car for my, for my son to watch something, but then brightness might Basically, cover when when you're driving on a motorway, sun will cover uh, half of the screen, so he will just see half of his tunes or something. I'm planning to use this, like I said, probably monitor my home server, get some st statistics showing up on here. Maybe, like I said, mount it in the fridge in the kitchen, and show uh, have like a the home assistant dashboard with all the information, switches and, and buttons and etc. Overall, it's a great monitor. It just this brightness thing is not ideal fully utilize this as a portable display because any kind of direct light just just will ruin DeX experience. Anyway, thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, will you or you, are you considering to purchase this monitor? Yes or no? And spoiler alert, hopefully in the near future, because I'm uploading right now quite irregularly, hopefully I'll go back to the track. Uh, but next video or video after will be about the port, about the display that is even smaller than this and DEX works on that display. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.